We've got George dropping in, Kaganas, Noah. Noah played 90 minutes yesterday. Kaganas played. So they're coming out to help us. Rami again is coming down, making the trek. Alright, thank you to everyone that's made the travel down. But now that we're here, I'm fucking make it worthwhile. Okay? Monday was Monday, that's in the past now. We're 9 0, we don't lose a game for the rest of the season. They've been warming up, they're loud, they're chirpy, they're a completely different team to the last time we played them. They look younger, doesn't mean they're gonna be better, who knows? But if we go out there and just take the mickey at the start a little bit and try to get to cruise control and start off with, we'll pop it. Don't take the foot off the ground now. We don't lose a game for the rest of the season. Alright, let's go. Okay, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another round of fixtures for One Nil FC. We've got a massive away day today against Kyneton Soccer Club. It's a massive game against the Rangers. You can see the table here. One Nil FC are on top. Nine games, nine wins, fifty-eight goals scored, eight goals conceded. Kyneton is sitting in sixth position. We played them round one, so we're going through the second round of fixtures again, and it's a different lineup today. We've got Yorgos making his debut in goal. No Jamie Garney for the next couple of weeks. We've got a back three of Garganis, Noah Kavanagh, who makes his start, and Harry Ashbrook down back in that line of three. The midfield doesn't change. Steph Manolopoulos, Finn Lewis, and Tim Pilatus in at the number 10. That's a strong midfield, as we always tend to see week in, week out. And on both wides, we've got Robbie Williams on the left. We've got myself, Costa, on the right as side as well. And up top, Mitch Bunner Brown makes way, obviously, for his Europe trip. So we've got Paul Chamberlain coming in to take over his position and Jack Chos Carrera leading the line up top with Paul Chamberlain. And on the bench, we've got a couple new debutants as well in there with... with Blessing making his debut here. You'll see him. Boy, is he a good player. We've got Rami back in the side. We've got Ross and Michael Domanos coming in for that team lineup as well to finish that bench. And it's a strong squad, but obviously we've got a lot of boys missing. No Kian, no Winket. That spine is really gone for this game. No Mitch Barnard Brown. So we're underway here against Kyneton. You can see the dry pitch. We're really in the country. Lovely, lovely town, Kyneton. But if you aren't new, and if you're from Kynes and watching this game, make sure to like, subscribe, get us to 1,000 subscribers. We want that. We want that. It'll be a special little prize giveaway when we do reach 1,000 subscribers. So we're here underway, and it's against Kyneton, and it's obviously going to be a big game. We played them round one, so it's a full circle sort of moment. We come around, do that do that whole fixture once again, and... Um, uh, they, were, they were a decent little team. We only beat them 2-1. They weren't bad. They've had some interesting results. There's a lot of new players in their team this time around. I think I think the home ground advantage is working in their favor a little bit. But this number nine, remember him from last time, causing causing us a couple trouble in the first game. And he's looking to do the same. He's holding his hand out there for me as well. Wants to hold my hand for some reason. I'm not sure why, but we'll ignore that. Noah Kavanagh played 90 minutes the day before. He's coming in and playing again. He plays a lovely ball at the top to Paul Chamberlain. Paul Chamberlain's got to take his chance. Paul Chamberlain's got to take the shot. Oh Paul Chamberlain, not Oxlade Chamberlain. We've got the real Chamberlain in this team, ladies and gentlemen. What a curve and the whippage. And apologies if the camera was a little bit slot off. Got a new camera guy today. But that's a great ball there by Noah Kavanagh. And Paul Chamberlain does so well to get, a, to get the touch onto that. And the curve and the whippage on that was unbelievable. Looks like it's going outside the post. But Paul Chamberlain absolutely smashes it. And that's 1-0 already. 17 minutes in, 1-0 FC and 1-0 up. And that's exactly what I want. It's been a big week, as you would have seen that Brunswick Zebras game. It's a massive game that, that kept us on top of the ladder with five points clear. The boys don't want to lose a game. We're winning the league. One FC, we're winning the league. I'm telling you that. It's, it's not a prediction. It's a spoiler, ladies and gentlemen. Tim Pilatus in here now. We're looking to put the ball in from a corner. Puts it in. Not a great ball in, but it's come up to the top. Harry and Garganis are there. Paul Chamberlain once again. Paul Chamberlain runs onto it first with the ball. Nice and reactive. Paul Chamberlain absolutely smashes that. And that's a fantastic effort. The ball from Tim wasn't great, but it ended up getting into that real mixer and that dangerous spot just for Garganis and Harry to really contest that ball in the in the air. And then Paul Chandler just taps it in. Goalkeeper's got no idea where it's going. Fantastic there. 20 minutes in, 1-0 FC, a 2-0 up. No worries. And like I said, as you can see there on the screen, the women's 1-0 FC side, we do start in a couple of weeks. If you are watching, we've got an open training session this Wednesday at RMIT Bandura. So make sure to get down to that if you're looking to hopefully join the women's football team it's gonna be a big season for us couple new signings stay tuned Paul Chamberlain here back to the game puts the ball through to, to Finn and look at Finn he doesn't stop people were saying no Mitch no one nil but yes we miss him and Finn puts a good ball in there but the pressure that Mitch brings up top Finn and Paul are really carrying that and Jack Correa obviously up top they're really carrying that speed and pressure that Mitch has claimed so well and you can see there's blessing we put blessing on for his one nil FC debut Fantastic to see Blessing in the blue kit representing 1-0 today. He's got the ball here. He's got to look to be a little bit razzled. That's about the little flick there by Blessing. Blessing with the outside of the football. Oh, wow. 
What an impact that would have been straight away for Blessing in his 1-0 debut. Tim Pilatus now, 36 minutes in, looks to put the ball, plays it short there to Michael Demanos. He's got so much time and space. Just goes over the fence there, but it's unlucky. But right idea, I don't mind it. He's the number nine from Kyneton. Looks to put the ball in in a dangerous position. I think Gargana's got his head to that. The force of the edge of the box out of Kyneton. Tim does well to intercept it. Sort of sits on the ball and just delays it. Still got the ball on a string. Tim Pilatus looks for a through ball. Unlucky there. Blessing does end up with that little back flick as well. Can't loses the ball. Wins it again. Lovely little bit of effort there by Blessing. Blessing plays it out wide. Ross can't get there. The number nine here from Kyneton's got the ball. Blessing, fantastic work rate. And a Blessing just got suplexed to the ground. Somehow, I think... I don't know who the free kick's gone to. It's gone to them. Not too sure how... Not too sure how, but blessing, we, we, we applaud the effort. The ball in a dangerous position. Yordos comes out looking like a pro club's character. Kind to go for the kick. There's balls everywhere. There's players everywhere. And it's gone in the back of the net. Referee doesn't want to pay it. Looks like maybe there was a free kick in there and an offside. So I'm not too sure exactly why. But one you'll see escape a late scare approaching half time. Tim does well. And Rami's there in the, mid, in the middle of the box trying to get the ball. But the referee's got to blow for the whistle very, very soon. And it's a fantastic first half. 2-0. 2-0 up at halftime. Paul Chamberlain, two goals. Let's go see what the boys have to say. Second half is underway, and I know you couldn't really exactly hear what the boys were saying, but you could really get, just gather, obviously, Winkett not playing today through the suspension, so he really took on board that gaffer role. Nice, nice, and then absolutely smashed it, of course. And it was just the same sort of thing, like, we're not really doing much wrong, just got to stay sharp, make sure we come out that second half, continue the pressure, don't take the foot off the pedal whatsoever. Ross Unlucky goes for the ball there. Kyneton are looking to go on the attack. Late little challenge there, but we're going to progress. We're up to the 49th minute now of the game, and ideally we'd love to keep, keep a clean sheet. Yorgos, he hasn't played a game for the for the club, and obviously Jamie's a big miss, but we'd love to keep Yorgos in, a, in, a, in having, a, having a clean sheet in his last in his couple few games that he's got to play for one LFC this season until Jamie does return from his trip. And you would have seen on the Instagram, if you don't follow that, at one LFC. Make sure to go check that. We've got Mitch and Jamie just throwing up the 1-0 whilst on holiday. We've got the ball in the corner there. Again, apologies for some of the camera work. Um, my sister was on camera. We appreciate everyone's effort. But Rami's got the ball, number 30 there. Looks to take a touch. Plays it out to Tim. Tim's got the ball still in his life. He's finding it in a lot more space now in this game. He's gone through a couple there. Tim goes for the strike. Tim goes for the golasso. Tim Politis, thanks for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, that is 3-0 to 1-0 FC. Kyneton, thanks for coming. 50th minute, 3-0, Tim Polaris, unbelievable effort, and we know how good Tim has been so far this season, but this, this, this sums Tim up, look at that, just a couple of rolls over, step over, shot, and it's a lovely, lovely strike there, goalkeeper's got to be doing better, maybe the hat is the issue for the goalkeeper, never been a fan of goalkeepers wearing hats, but we'll, we'll, we'll advance, Blessing here has got the ball, plays it through to Tim, and Tim's got the confidence now, he's oozing with class, plays it out wide to Garganas, Garganas has the ball. Looks to play a long switch over the top to Finn. Doesn't quite find him. Sorry to Paul. Paul does well, though, to come back and win it. Kind to now on the attack. And this number nine's got the ball one more time. We know where he wants to go. He always wants to come in on his right. And the boys have read that really well. We do give away a free kick. They're just going to look to maybe play it in the danger zone here. No, instead, they play short. Short to this number nine once again. Takes it to his right foot. Looks to put the ball in in a very dangerous position. Garganas comes in. And Garganas, what is that? He was never going to get there with his head. And instead, he's just thrown all his body weight. And we give away a penalty. 52nd minute. Gorgo net, a.k.a. your favorite pro Cubs character. Kaiser step up. Go. 3-1. 52nd minute. Kaiser get themselves a penalty. We don't, unfortunately, keep the clean sheet for the game. Still plenty of time. Still plenty of time. Will this mean that the... That the but the, 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 what's it called? Momentum? <laughs> Will this mean that the momentum shifts now? I'm not too sure. 66th minute, though, and we, we progress later on in the game. Jack Correa does well just to maintain the ball. Michael Domanos goes for a first-touch pass. 
goes and finds Rami. Rami does well to hold the little step over, cuts it back in. Lovely little zoom there, Georgia. Well done. Thanks for that. And we zoom back out and double knee brace. We remember him from round one. Looks to play the ball. The ball's just pinging everywhere. It's difficult to follow, difficult to find. Stefan Manolopoulos has slopped into that centre back role as well. Robbie's got the ball there. Plays it through to Blessing. Blessing, you've got to shoot that. No, Blessing wants to do the team thing. Play to Rami. Gets intercepted. And wow, that should have been 4 1. Blessing should have scored on his 1 0 FC debut. Blessing just too nice, trying to give the wishes out to everyone, trying to give goals out to everyone. Jack Carrera with a lovely fend off there to, to Finn. Finn plays it out wide. Someone's got to take the shot here. The ball's got to come back in and it goes out for a corner. We progress to the 88th minute, so not much of the second half. Tim Pilatus has got to step up. And well, would this sum up a good game for Tim? That, he just ran off the wall there. Can we get can we get something on that? Ladies and gentlemen, scroll back and see that. He just ran straight off the wall before anything happened. But that's got to sum up today's game. 3-1 result, a lovely away day. It's an hour or so drive. The boys did well. We go 10-0, and ladies and gentlemen. We've got Craigie Burn at home next week. So if you are free, at the time of filming, it's today. So well done to everyone. Make sure to like, subscribe. One love see. We win the league. It's a spoiler, not a prediction.